Do you think that the speed of the particle increases as time passes or it's just an illusion? Let's try to find out. Forces acting on this bob are its weight and tension. In one cycle, work done by weight is zero. And also work done by tension is zero in any time interval because tension is always perpendicular to velocity. So in one cycle, total work done is zero. So the kinetic energy of the particle should not change. So it means the speed is average speed is a constant in a cycle so speed is actually not changing what is happening as it is moving its radius is decreasing speed is constant so its angular speed is increasing and that's why it is appearing as speed is increasing but speed is constant angular speed is increasing and so the demonstration is inspired by this question of Herodo 1.138 the question states a horizontal plane support a stationary vertical cylinder of radius r and a disc a Attached to the cylinder by a horizontal thread AB of length L0 and initial velocity V0 is imparted to the disc as shown. How long will it move along the plane until it strikes against the cylinder? The friction is assumed to be absent. So, after the string has been wrapped over the cylinder by an angle theta, suppose this is the this is wrap part of the string and it has been wrapped by an angle theta. So the length of the string wrapped over the cylinder is r theta and this is the unwrapped part of the string and suppose uh, the moment that I am talking is the moment of time is t, this is t is equal to 0 and so far this is the distance that has been traveled by disk A and this distance let me write as a s. Assume that at this moment the velocity is v. And one more thing, what is this? This is the, the part that is unwrapped right now. That part ha has a length L0 minus R theta because R theta part has been wrapped. Total length is L0. So uh, whether this v will change or not, see. The forces acting on this disk are its weight and mg, whole thing that you see, it is in the horizontal plane. So mg normal balances are they are not doing any work. The other force here is this uh, weight, uh, sorry, uh, tension. You see that this tension is always perpendicular to velocity. So at any moment, instantaneous power due to this tension is zero. So power is zero. So rate of doing work is zero. So this tension is not doing any work. Weight normal also not doing any work. So no work is being done on this disk. So that means the velocity of the particle will remain constant or in other words the kinetic energy of the disk will not change so that is very important so this s is the distance travel till time t and suppose uh, by the time it wrapped over it the total distance traveled by the particle is say s naught s naught is the total distance traveled and because it is traveling with a constant speed so immediately you can say that the time to strike the cylinder again is the distance traveled by that constant speed and one more thing i would like how much angle the string has been wrapped over the string so the angle wrapped over the string could be think of the arc length obviously the whole string will wrapped over it so if theta naught is the angle wrapped over the cylinder then that theta naught will be simply l naught by r so that is my equation two now just after a very small time letter so that moment is t and now at uh, t plus dt here by this time the string has the, this particle has come up to here this extra distance that the particle has traveled say that extra distance is uh, ds and during this time the string has been wrapped a little more angle and that little more angle is d theta and this is the position of the uh, disc and this up to here this much part has been extra wrapped now the position of the string would be like this and this angle will also be d theta now see one thing the interval that I am taking, this interval is so small that we can think that from here to here, the particle is moving in a circle of 
radius l naught minus r theta and this is the instantaneous center of that circle so this ds could be think of the arc of that circle whose radius is l naught minus r theta and that arc is subtending angle d theta at the center so you can write ds is equal to uh, l naught minus r theta into d theta integrate this whole thing you will get s so s is s or s naught so just integrate it ds from 0 to s naught and this is l naught minus r theta d theta the whole integration will go from theta 0 to all that angle theta naught and this integration is going to give you l naught theta naught minus r theta naught square by 2 and you see that uh, r theta naught is l naught r theta naught is l naught so this is basically uh, l naught theta naught by 2 and put back the value of what theta naught so you will get theta naught is what uh, l naught by r so that will be l naught square by 2r and this is s naught so now my time will come directly from equation one so time to strike the cylinder again is nothing but tau l naught by r so that is how much l oh, sorry s by v naught so s s naught by v naught and s naught is this so this is simply l naught square by 2 r v naught and that is our answer thank you